In the arid savannah of Burkina Faso's countryside, for decades local people have understood the importance of planting trees to protect their livelihoods and hold back the encroaching desert. Few more so than El Haji Salafu Wadrago, who has run a business planting and nurturing the famous baobab trees for more than 40 years. At the beginning, it was mangoes that I produced, but I realized very quickly that many people already did that. So, having baobab at home and having noticed that people come to the house all the time to ask for the baobab leaves for food, I thought to myself, why not produce it in large numbers? It would help people a lot. The baobab tree's fruit, leaves and bark are used by some Burkinabi people as an important food source and for medicinal purposes. But Thomas Sankara, the country's president from 1983 to 1987 and a national hero for many in Burkina Faso, envisioned planting the baobab and all kinds of trees across the continent. He once said, step by step, tree by tree, we'll create this great park of 10 million trees. Some say Sankara was the inspiration for the UN and World Bank funded Great Green Wall, a projected 8,000 kilometre long band of trees stretching across the southern edge of the Sahara Desert from the east of Africa to the west. Backers claim it will also help fight the effects of climate change, drought, famine, conflict and migration. But critics say after 15 years the project is only 4% complete with just 10 years left before its completion deadline. I can see uh, three different kinds of problems. One from the social point of view, obviously from the implementation point of view, and then the ecological consequences and feasibility. Territory that is going to be uh, planted with trees is currently a conflict area, either with traditional uh, military conflicts or with uh, terrorism. But non-profit groups say the project is making gains and uniting communities. So we have been working on the ground, mostly with rural communities, rehabilitating land and forest, also empowering local communities to get involved into the economic system. Uh, so we really believe that the Great Green Wall is one of the solutions for the Sahel region. Wadrago's son, who is taking on the family business, believes tree planting is essential for the future too. I accompany my father on all possible terrains and he tells me how to take care of the trees and particularly the baobabs, which are a symbol of Africa. He also said it's important to save nature because in his words, saving nature is saving the life of man. Henry Wilkins for VOA News. Southwest Burkina Faso.